Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on the area model of multiplication. This is for two digits times two, times two digits. So this is building off of the two digits times one digit video. And again, like in the other video, uh, we are using base 10 grid paper. It's just a regular graph paper, but at every 10 uh, unit increment, there's a dark solid line. It just helps us to know where every 10 is, especially with the larger numbers. It makes things go a little more smoothly and quickly. So let's get started. 14 times 11. So I think I'm going to have 14 over here on the side. And 14 really is the same as 10 plus 4. And if I think of it like that, I'll draw a line here because at that solid line, that's 10. And then my 4, I'll just put four dots here. And that will represent 14. The 11, I'm going to put up above. And 11, it's really the same as 10 plus 1. So I'm going to do a, a 10 here plus this one dot. So that's representing the number 1. Now that I have my uh, dimensions set, I can find my areas. So there's 1. There's 2. It's 10 times 1. There's a 4 times 10 there and a 4 times 1 there. So I have four mini regions that, or mini areas that make up the entire area of this problem. So I'm just going to write 10 times 10 is 100. Now I'm going to go to the next one there. That's pretty small, so I'm going to kind of write it out here. Let's put a little arrow or a line in there, best I can. This is 10 times 1, which is 10. This region down below, 4 times 10, that's 40. And I have one last one right there. And that's 4 times 1 is 4. So these four partial products, when you add them up, will give me the answer to 14 times 11. Notice the it's representing the entire area as well. That's, all we that's why we call it the area model. So what I'm having students do is writing out those partial products over here on the side. And then they're going to add them up. It's really important to keep things lined up correctly so you don't accidentally make a simple mistake with your adding. You're going to add those up. And again, those numbers are the same highlighted numbers I just highlighted just a little bit ago. So I got 4, 1 and 4 is 5, and then a 1, 154. My answer is 154. And I'm going to go on to the next problem. 11 times 16. I think I'll put my 16 down here. And remember, 16 is really 10 plus 6. So there's a 10. And then here's my 6. Eleven, I'm going to put my eleven up here, is really ten plus one. And now I just have to fill these regions in, and there will be four of them. And these four regions together make up the entire area which is really the answer. So I have 10 times 10 
is 100. And I have this little slice right here. Uh, 10 times 1 is 10. 6 times 10 is 60. And I got another little sliver slice over here. And 6 times 1 is 6. And again, like before, these partial products added up will give us the answer to the problems. And we're going to write those partial products over here. Don't forget to line things up appropriately so you don't make simple mistakes. And you're adding. And again, just a moment ago, I highlighted those pieces. These highlighted numbers that I'm highlighting are just coming from those regions or pieces. So if I add those up, got 6, 1 in 6 is 7, and 1 in the hundreds place is 1. 176 is the answer. Moving on. Let's try something a little more challenging. 15 times 21. Now I have 21. Notice my graph paper and my grid's a little bigger. I need it a little bigger because of the 21. So as you get into larger numbers, you're going to need more space on the graph paper. I put my 21 over here. Now 21 is really two tens together. So it's 10 plus 10 plus a 1 makes up 21. So those all together make up 21. And then my 15 up here is a 10 and 5 ones. All right, now I just have these meet to find the area they cross and then you're going to notice there's several regions here there's 10 times 10 is 100 10 times 5 well that's 50 Here's another 10 times 10 is 100. Here's another 10 times 5 is 50. Now this little tiny bit right here, 1 times 10 is 10. And a little tiny bit right here, 1 times 5 is 5. So if I highlight those, there's a 5, there's a 10, there's a 100, there's a 50, there's another 50, and there's another 100. Those little regions all together make up the entire area of that problem, and the area, the entire area, is the answer. So I'm going to have students write this over here. I have two of these. Looks like I have two of these, 10 times fives. And then I have a 10 times one. And I have a 1 times 5. And I should have 
I believe, six of those little regions. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I just got to add them. Well, there's a five. And then the next column, in the tens column, there's a five, a five, and a one. That's 11. I'm going to carry the one and just put it up there. And I have three ones there. 315 is my answer. I hope this has been helpful to you. You can always watch this video again if you need a little extra support. You can watch it at home or in school. And if you ever need the base 10 paper, just let me know and I can get it to you as quickly as, as possible. Thank you for watching the video and uh, keep on working on your math.